That's according to Red Devil's legend Peter Schmeichel. Since Sir Alex Ferguson ended an illustrious 26-year reign at Old Trafford to retire as a manager in 2013, United have gone through three permanent managers with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer currently in charge as a caretaker boss. Despite winning an FA Cup, a Carabao Cup and the Europa League, all three of Ferguson's successors Moyes, Van Gaal and Mourinho ended up being relieved of their duties. Mourinho was sacked just last December with Solskjaer, appointed as interim boss in his place, with United having picked 25 points in nine Premier League games under the Norwegian one less than in 17 games under Mourinho this season. Solskjaer's appointment has been a major success for United, but the club are now left with the question as to whether or not to keep him for the long term or chase another target, with Tottenham tactician Mauricio Pochettino long mooted to be their number one choice for the position. But iconic former goalkeeper Schmeichel thinks that Mourinho, whose reign is looked back on with discontent due to the poor football played under the Portuguese boss, would have enjoyed greater success had he not come in after Van Gaal. Yet stretching even further back, the player turned pundit laments how United sacked Moyes just 10 months into a six-year contract. The Scott recommended by Ferguson himself as his own replacement oversaw the first time in which United failed to make the Champions League since 1995-96 as they went on to finish 7th, 15 points off 4th and 22 points off title winners Manchester City. If we should have any regrets as Manchester United, that is that we only gave David Moyes seven sick months," Schmeichel told Vine Sports after Man City beat Chelsea 6-0 on Sunday. I think we should have given him more time, accepted that results weren't going to be the way we hoped they would be, and that playing would be a little bit different. I believe he would have grown into that role. He has the personality and he had so many things he needed to learn, and he didn't have anybody to learn them from. He was left to run the football department on his own. I think that really would have helped him keeping Mike feeling had he had someone with that kind of experience. But I also understand where he's coming from. He did think that he brought that experience with Phil Neville, so he had someone there. I don't think he wanted someone there who had worked with Sir Alex. I can understand that, but maybe when you look back maybe that was a mistake. But from the club's perspective we should never, ever have dismissed him. That left us into making rash decisions, so we bring in a name and that went completely wrong. Had we brought in Mourinho instead of Louis van Gaal, I'm sure history would have told that it would have been better. It would have been so much better for him to come in at that point rather than after van Gaal. There were too many things that happened, too many players brought in that didn't suit him and possibly didn't suit Man United as well. But we go back and look at our history, we look at the number of years from Sir Matt stopping and retiring in the 70s and all the way to 86. It still took Fergie from 86 to 93 to seal the first championship so United is the kind of club that will always bounce back. This time we'd just hope it's a little bit quicker 